Diane Parker here in Bozeman outside the Kimpton Armory. And this is in downtown where Tim Sheehy, U.S. Senate candidate hopeful, running against incumbent John Tester, is hosting his official watch party. And the results are starting to come in. A bellhop let me know that he is likely up in the presidential suite with a smaller group of friends awaiting more results. Now, some of the results I'm tracking are those from our tribal communities. Uh, some of the counties that have large tribal populations are Glacier County, that is the black feet population. Now they have been out and about giving uh, tribal members rides to the polls as well as we have Rosebud County that is Northern Cheyenne and we also have the Crow Reservation which is in Bighorn County Montana. Now those election offices are in Hardin. They let me know earlier today about 2,000 absentee votes came in. Those were to be released right at 8 o'clock or a little bit after. The rest of the 7,500 approximate registered voters those will be uh, released in precincts of five at a time there's 25 precincts alone just in Bighorn County and there is some controversy over this due to some comments that Tim Sheehy uh, was heard on camera making some sort of disparaging remarks stereotyping Native Americans as the quote-unquote drunk Indians now for those full comments you can view our stories on MTN let's go ahead and listen to some sound I grew up in Grand with them every year you know down there so great way to bond with all the Indians to be out there while they're drunk at 8 a.m. and you're roping together. It's really, um, that's disgusting. That's, that's not who we are, and that's never going to be who we are as a not representative of who we are. I think that it's a perpetuating old racist stereotypes. The Rocky Mountain Tribal Council, as well as the Crow Tribal Secretary and Executive Branch, they have called for an official apology. They have not received one yet, although in one of the previous debates, she, he accepts responsibility for the comments that he made. He said he realizes they're off color. That's what sometimes military folks do when they're chatting uh, with, a, with a group of folks. Uh, so he took responsibility, but he didn't directly apologize. Now, our tribal communities are calling for that official apology. We are watching those results come in on the secretary's website. We're tracking those results. They will all be posted to the state website, and you can view full results there. For the people who served the military. My name is Tim Sheehy. From the Kimpton Armory in Bozeman, Diane Parker, MTN News.